the Twilight Saga New Moon. Because what would the world be if someone didn't take the eternal myth of vampires versus werewolves and turn it into a crossbreed of Underworld meets the OC? The answer? Better. In reality, I should love Twilight. Twilight's taken aback for the skinny, pale white guys. But after two hours of feeling my sperm die minute by minute, yeah, I just don't. Now let's cut the bullshit and be clear here. The Twilight movies are not vampire movies. They're teen dramas involving a love triangle between an overzealous best friend with anger issues and hairy palms, an overly dramatic girl, and an emotionally closed off boyfriend. So it's kind of like every other teen drama you've ever seen. So make no mistake, it's not actually a vampire movie. I was at the store and I saw Twilight on a shelf alongside vampire movies like From Dust Till Dawn, The Lost Boys, and Underworld. Saying that Twilight is anything like these movies is like saying that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is like Lord of the Rings because it has elves. So don't be fooled guys, the Twilight Saga as a whole is ultimately 90210 set in the Northwest. It's true blood without the tits. Yes, let's face it. No matter how they try to cut together a trailer to make it look epic enough for us guys to enjoy, the Twilight movies are just not meant for us. It's ultimately porn for women. It absolutely is if you think about it. It's corny, it has laughable dialogue, and for reasons unknown to us, it unquestionably turns on its target audience. Porn for women. Or anyone who watches Glee. New Moon is your basic love triangle middle school bullshit that you've seen a hundred times before. Only when you saw it before, it wasn't needlessly overhyped like it is now. You have Mr. Metro's sparkly skin on one side, and you have Mr. Friendzone on the other, who starts having thoughts about Bella about the time he starts getting hair in funny places and howling at the moon. The whole thing just doesn't feel anything more than useless. Even at the end of the movie, when they throw in a little tussle between Edward and some of the Volturi. Because at a point during the fight, you start thinking to yourself, you've seen vampires fight before. All badass-like, with a sword, and it was called Blade. If New Moon has taught us anything, it's taught us that doubling the budget from the first movie doesn't make the acting any better. Being a werewolf still does not get you out of the friend zone. And no matter how many vampires, werewolves, or psychics you throw on the screen, it's still just overly dramatic high school bullshit. There is just no way to make any high school drama monumental at all. Unless it involves Lord Voldemort. And I don't really see how Edward and Bella connect. Like, at all. They just never seem happy. Everything is just so serious all the time. He seems so perplexed 24-7. He could be saying anything. It looks like it's the most important thing he's ever thought he's ever said. This is the last time you'll ever see me. I'll have a number seven with a Coke and large fries, please. He has no personality. I just, I don't see it. And not only did I not buy the love between Teen Wolf and Bella, Bella and Edward, Edward and his hair, but I just didn't care. By the end of the movie, you don't care if everyone lives happily ever after, or they all end up graduating high school where they don't think about each other until the 10 year reunion where Bella packs on about 98 pounds, Edward becomes a divorced struggling artist, and Teen Wolf becomes a hairy backed bald mechanic still sporting his letterman jacket working at his family owned auto wrecking yard. That's your dose of reality right there. You just don't care. In the end, you're just left with that feeling you get when you get a cat's game in tic-tac-toe. You're just like, well, that was remarkably pointless. So ladies, if the movie is anything like the book, we guys, yeah, we still don't get the point. But if you're gonna subject your boyfriend, date, or any guy to this whatsoever, please be sure to make it up to him, like, big time. Because for us, the Twilight movies are like going to the dentist. If the dentist happens to be a cross between Michael J. Fox and Ray Charles. With no anesthetic. And to you guys out there with girlfriends, yeah, good luck dodging this bullet. Cause it's coming. I'm sorry. Sympathy.